what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's been a minute but you know how i do i go away for a little bit then i come back with a banger and today we definitely got one of those as you can see we have what looks like a standard air jordan one box except you can tell it's not a standard air jordan one box we do have the jump man in the middle but of course we have the co-branding and you guys know i love some co-branding it has the awake logo on it on all the other sides of the box hopefully the camera will be picking this up i'm moving around so you guys can see it's a glossy snakeskin pattern on the box very very nice touch you guys know i love special boxes on the back side, it says where I'm from, which is a little interesting, just a little bit. I'll talk more about that later, but it says where I'm from. Size tag reads Jordan Airship PESP Sale Black and University Red. Once you pop open the top, of course, you've seen that coordinate system, that latitude and longitude. Now, when I went ahead and dug into where those land, they actually take you to Cumberland Diagnostic and Treatment Center. Now, I could not find out how that exactly relates to the actual owner of Awake, which I'll talk about a little bit later on, but I thought that was pretty unique. Of course, in that same structural complex is PS67, which I'm not sure if that's where Angelo actually went to. Again, Angelo is the owner of Awake New York. And then right across the street from that is also the public housing complex. So there's a lot going on. And I actually love when those kind of details make it onto the finished product. We'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Now, standard to every airship drop, typically there's an airship pamphlet in here that gives you the tech specs and kind of specifications of the shoe. Now, this one is actually a little special because it actually has Awake branding on it, which I don't think I've seen in my airships before. So there's your Awake branding. Same thing with the logo on the back. Hopefully I'll be able to zoom in. But if you guys come here, you can look on the inside cover and you see the Awake logo with actually a grayed out map of the actual area where these coordinates land you at. Hopefully by now I've shown you guys a high resolution full screen image of this location. And again, unique to this pamphlet, there's actually more details about this particular shoe, including the A stitched on the actual stabilizer strap, as well as the Ball and Wings logo, which is a little different than this shoe. You'll see that in a minute. That's not contained on other airship releases. Very, very dope. Additionally, this also comes with stickers on the interior. Of course, it says where I'm from, and of course, the five boroughs in New York. The one where I'm from, Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, and Staten Island. Of course, you also have the Awake and Jumpman logo here, and the Awake and Ball and Wings logo here. Again, co-branding at its finest. Very, very nice. And then flip up to the tissue paper again, the Jumpman logo with the Awake New York logo transposed behind it. And again, you have the very faint image of the map background that uh, the coordinates lead to. Again, co-branding, man, this is super, super nice. As they say, it's all in the details. Ladies and gentlemen, I am beyond pleased to present to you the Nike Airship PE Awake. Yes, indeed, you have another airship. And at some point we have to have an open and honest conversation about how airships are taking over and this particular silhouette blocking. But we'll talk about that in a minute. As per usual, I like to start from the bottom of the shoe. And so you have a rubber outsole and a radial design traction pattern. So this actually has a kind of a gum bottom look to it. Now, despite what the midsole looks like, the actual outsole on the bottom does have this gum bottom look. It looks very nice. It looks like an ashy gum bottom designed to look age or vintage. And I know it's not a top priority for a lot of you on their favorite design hints, but this is very nice on this particular shoe. I love the contrast between this and the midsole. And speaking of the midsole, again, you have this age, worn, vintage, old, whatever you want to call it. I know you guys like to use the, the piss word, and I, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. But again, this has this edgy look to it, worn, vintage around the midsole. And now next for me, among all the other details on the shoe, this may be the prize winner. It's the actual leather on the shoe. And again, I get it. You know, leather is subjective. What you think is soft or buttery or whatever the situation may be is subjective. But I do like how pliable and plushy this material is. I mean, this leather is incredibly soft, especially for an airship, along with that tumbled or wrinkly kind of look to it. And that is throughout the entire shoe, including the stabilizer straps and the heel and everywhere else. And what you also will notice on the lateral stabilizer strap is the Awake Air logo stitched inside. I think that is a great touch. Now, again, this is what's really setting apart the boutique airships from all the other Jordan brand lineups. Now, these boutiques have had the leeway within certain reason, I suppose, to have the creative freedom Put design elements on these shoes and this a on the side of the shoe is a fantastic touch i think sets it apart from other airships moving on we have a silver swoosh which is outlined in that university red another nice touch of the airship i'd be remiss if i didn't mention that that red underlay is actually suede so at this point you have a couple different materials on here snake skin suede and leather on the shoe very nice of course another major selling point for this shoe is a faux snake skin wrapped around the ankle collar again very nice and of course that snake skin extends to the back heel tab and this is actually the heel tab this long piece is the heel tab of the shoe this kind of shoe in my opinion blends raw and edgy with luxury i think this shoe 
shoe pulls it off perfectly between the aged midsole and the snakeskin ankle collar. Another touch unique to this particular release is the Ball and Wings logo, except if you kind of come in and hopefully the camera will pick this up. If not, I'll get some good B-roll. On the Ball and Wings logo, it actually says Awake New York, where it normally says Air Jordan. Again, leeway to do creative things, and this is what you come up with. Very nice touch. You also have a mesh tongue in this kind of cream colored aged look. Again, I like this because it gives contrast to the actual white leather. I like these touches. Sorry, it's just me. All the way up until you get to the tongue tag that does say Nike Air. Now again, cool touches, tongue tag. If you flip it over to the back, it does have the Awake logo with the Jumpman on it. Again, you know, these stories, even if you don't like the shoe, sometimes stories can sell the shoe. And this is definitely worth picking up in my opinion. Don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but of course the insole is just a regular Nike Air insole written in black with the red colorway underneath. Then of course you have this beautiful metallic hang hang on the side. This joint is heavy. I can, I can tell you that right now. It's, it's a heavy, solid piece. And what's dope about this, of course, Angelo, the creator and owner of Awake New York, he actually put this piece from the 2001 pair of Royal Jordan 1s. He tells a story of back in his younger years how his mom would not give him the Air Jordan 1 in the Royal colorway because they just flat out couldn't afford it. And that particular core memory was so traumatic to him, he vowed that if he ever got a chance to design an Air Jordan, he was going to put metallic hang tag on the shoe, just like it came with on the 2001 Air Jordan 1 Royal. And flash forward, here we are today, he made good on his word and added that hang tag to his shoe. The shoe does come with the white cotton lace as standard, and of course you have a spare pair of laces in that university red colorway. I say this part for last because I love when you have two shoes that have contrasting differences. One shoe says Nike Air on the heel tab and the other says Awake New York. Again, very, very dope. As aforementioned, this is Awake New York's first four-way into designing for Jordan brand sneakers. So for those of you who don't know, Awake New York was launched in 2012 in New York City, New York. It was conceptualized and brought to reality by Angelo Bach, which is funny because Angelo is actually from Queens and typically New Yorkers, man, they rep their boroughs hard. But this actually is a Brooklyn-based shoe, so take it with a grain of salt. Now, Angelo was a brand director for Supreme Clothing for over a decade, which I imagine is a pretty dope gig. With the support and encouragement of folks, he decided to venture out on his own and create a weight clothing. And using this platform, he's able to go ahead and design with other brands that we love, like Levi's, Carhartt, Reebok, and of course, Jordan Brand and Nike. But it's not just the shoes. There's an amazing capsule collection, including, but not limited to, a leather jacket that a lot of people are gonna want, myself included. But I live in Florida and of course, I'll wear it like once or twice. I don't know, maybe, we'll try. But that's one of the most beautiful things about the collaboration process when it comes to these sneakers. Additionally, there's also gonna be another colorway, a blue pair, probably that royal blue, just like you wanted in 2001 to release sometime around the holiday. Now don't quote me on what holiday means. I think it's somewhere between October and December of end of this year, but sometime around then. But for me, I think the red pair so far is the better pair just because of how vibrant this university red is. As far as sizing is concerned, I do like my airships to have a little bit more room in the toe box because they're a little bit more narrower than your standard Air Jordan 1. And so for me, I went up half size, but please do what makes you the most comfortable. Before I get out of here, I really did want to tell you guys, I think the airship is having an amazing run and the resurgence of this shoe from 40 years ago is amazing. In my humblest opinions, these five airships are second to none, and I think they can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any Jordan 1 released in the last two years or so. I mean, they are that damn good, especially the boutique versions. The Awake, the Tech Gray is a Nike one, but the Tech Gray, the Ama Manier, the Corporate, and the Soul Goods one, all fantastic colorways to the airship. Kudos to Nike and Jordan brand for bringing back this classic and allowing boutiques to get their hands on them and put their particular spin on them. Fantastic. Again, this shoe comes out Saturday, March 9th, I believe for a price of 140, 150. I don't know how much these cost anymore. But between 140, 150 on awakenewyorkclothing.com, then I believe the worldwide release is gonna be on March 16th, the week after. So if you guys want these shoes, stay ready, and then you ain't gotta get ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and go outside, put these joints to our feet, give you the two lace pop options. And until then, man, I have met Jay Shoe Fanatic. More reviews to come. Stay tuned for the channel. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Check the description below for our Geeks of Soul information. Until then, man, I'm out.
that's no. Oh, the original cut. There it is. I might like it better than the 2020 version. Oh, 